Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today, we are looking at some studio monitors. These are the LP8s from Cali Audio. Let's get to it. Cali Audio are a fairly young company started in 2018 by a team who came from other audio manufacturers. Their roots are in California and that's reflected in the naming of these monitors, LP standing for Lone Pine. Judging by the number of requests I've had for me to review the LPs, the company have clearly made quite an impact on people in that short time, and having spent the best part of a year with the LP8s, I can now understand why. They have two lines of monitors, the two-way LPs, which come in a couple of varieties, the 6.5-inch LP6 and the 8-inch LP8s, which I'm reviewing here. Then they have the IN series, which are a three-way design with coaxial mid and tweeters. What's pretty astonishing about the LP monitors is the pricing. The LP6s have a street price of $150 each, with these LP8s being just $200 each. For context, the affordable lines from other big manufacturers typically run around 50% more, with $300 being an average ballpark price for an 8-inch monitor. Does that low pricing mean that corners have been cut though? Let's get into the details. Construction is what you'd expect largely with MDF for the main cabinet and a plastic front baffle. The monitors have a good weight to them at around £20 each and there's been no sign of any rattling or any other vibration related artifacts. Unlike a lot of competing monitors, they don't have any kind of isolation foam on the base so I definitely recommend you pick some up if you don't have something to decouple them from your stands or desk already. The drivers consist of a 1 inch soft dome tweeter and an 8 inch woofer made of polymer coated paper with a dual voice coil. Paper may not have the glamorous appeal of exotic materials like Kevlar, but it's a proven performer in the loudspeaker world. In terms of power, the two Class D amps throw out 60 watts and 40 watts for the low and high drivers respectively, with a max SPL of 114 dB. This isn't the highest in the category, but well balanced between the two amps, and you can go more than loud enough in a home studio environment without hearing any audible distortion. Likewise, the frequency response isn't the widest according to the specs, but at 37Hz to 25kHz it will suffice for most. The front baffle is notable for two things, what Kali call it 3D imaging waveguide around the tweeter and the pretty massive base port, which is designed to avoid chuffing, the noise which can sometimes come out of more traditional ports when moving large amounts of air. It's debatable whether having front facing ports makes the LP8s better suited to being closer to walls than monitors with ports on the rear, but I did find them to not be as fussy about placement as some other monitors I've tried. One other thing on the front panel I especially like is the small LED. It's great to be able to see that the monitors are powered on, but this one isn't so bright as to be annoying. In terms of connections, there's a balanced jack and XLR, and an unbalanced RCA socket. That can be disabled if you don't use it to combat interference, but I can't say I noticed any issues with that in my setups. Power is provided by a standard IEC plug. When it comes to controls, the LP8 is quite unusual. There's only one knob for the volume, and that has a detent at 0 dB, which I always appreciate. The rest of the adjustments are done with a series of eight dip switches. The first three control the boundary EQ. They tweak the sound of the LP8 to sound better in different positions, everything from on stands, away from a wall, right up to wall mounted. The next four switches take care of low and high frequency trim, allowing you a 4 dB spread for both. And finally, there's one more switch to disable or enable that RCA input. The boundary settings do make an audible difference to the sound, and so I'd fully recommend using Kali Audio's suggested settings, at least as a starting point. You may end up deciding that another setting works best in your room, but on the whole, I was happy with the suggestions they made for my setups, both at home and in the lab. So we move on to the sound, and I must say, for a pair of 8-inch monitors at $400 for the pair, the LP8s are pretty astonishing. My overriding takeaway is just how flat the sound is. Right through the frequency range, there are no noticeable peaks or troughs. The mid-range is particularly open and detailed, with none of the harshness which some competitors can present. The highs are crisp, but again, not fatiguing, and the soundstage is superb. Tracks which really make use of stereo imaging are really well presented. The sweet spot, where you need to be position between the monitors to get the best sound is nice and wide, at least horizontally. If you're constantly wheeling around your studio in a chair, the LP8s will sound great for you. Vertical range is a bit more challenging though, as it can often be with larger monitors. Not having the tweeters of the LP8s at ear height makes for a slightly weird sound. So that's something to think about if these are to be dual purpose DJ and production monitors for you, used both sitting and standing. 
The thing that surprised me a little with the LP8s was the bass. Due to that very flat profile, which is what you need when mixing and mastering, what you have at the low end is a very tight controlled sound. They go low for sure, but the bass is not hyped in any way, and because the mids are so present and clear, that can make the bass seem lower by comparison with some other monitors at the same volume levels. There will usually be a section in a review like this where I'll warn you about using monitors which are too large in a small studio, but actually the bass is so controlled on the LP8s that I might in fact suggest an 8 inch where you'd normally use a 6 if you have the space, as the low end just isn't especially overwhelming. Kali do offer a subwoofer if you need more rumble, although at $600 that's not a cheap add-on. Do I have any criticisms of the LP8s? Well, if you've ever seen or read any other reviews, you will have probably heard these already. Firstly, there is an auto sleep mode on my units and that's rather inconsistent. I've heard that more recent units have done away with that and there's a jumper setting inside the speakers to disable it. It hasn't annoyed me to the point where I felt compelled to open them up and do that, but keep it in mind if it does you. The second criticism is that there is a noticeable hiss coming from the tweeters, even with nothing connected. Now, I've seen some people suggesting that's due to the use of Class D amplifiers, but I have a few other monitors with those, and none of them have the same amount of hiss. It's not loud enough to be noticeable with sources playing, even at very low volumes, and you may not even notice it at all unless you sit right next to the monitors. But I know some people are very sensitive to that kind of thing, and if that's you, these probably won't be ideal. So there you go, my take on the Kali Audio LP8 studio monitors. Every time I review other studio monitors, there are some comments saying, can you review Kali Audio? Now I have, and now I understand why. Because in a very crowded segment of the market, affordable studio monitors, there are so many models from so many different manufacturers, but these do rise above the noise. And that's mainly because they give such a flat sound. Incredibly flat. I don't know, I expected them to be quite beefy and aggressive. I don't know, something about the looks of them that just made me think they weren't gonna be what they are. I thought they were gonna be like maybe base monsters. They're really not. They're just flat and detailed. And that is what you want from actual studio monitors. There's so little kind of boominess in the low end that actually, this is a kind of a DJ focused channel, of course. If you're just looking for DJ monitors, these probably aren't gonna be the ones because they don't have a lot of that low end kick, even in the eight inch size. You know, these are pretty big old woofers in there, but they don't kick out tons and tons of bass. They just give you a super flat sound, which for studio monitoring, for production, that's what you want. So yeah, very impressive, especially for the money. I think the value proposition is superb with these. If you're not sure about them, if you've been on the fence, but you know that accuracy and flat sound is what you're wanting, you will not be disappointed with the LP8s. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.